The winners of the UAE Derby sponsored by the Saeed and Mohammed Al Nabuda Group, G2, and UAE Oak sponsored by Al Nabuda Construction Group, G3, have arrived at Churchill Downs in Louisville, Kentucky, USA, for their respective tilts in the US $2 million Kentucky Derby, G1, and $1 million Longines Kentucky Oaks on Saturday and Friday, respectively. Michael B. Tabor, Mrs. John Magner and Derek Smith's Aiden O'Brien trained Mendelssohn, winner of the UAE Derby by 18 and a half lengths to the good of said UAE Oaks winner Sheikh Rashid bin Humid Al Nuaimi's Rye arrived at Churchill Downs from his Bally Doyle base in County Tipperary, Ireland, on Monday evening at approximately 9.50 p.m. The Breeders' Cup Juvenile Turf, G1, winner immediately entered quarantine in Barn 17 and is expected to clear by late Wednesday afternoon. Mendelssohn was expected to arrive closer to 5.30 p.m., but the plane carrying him and his stablemates was diverted from Louisville to Indianapolis, according to DRF.com. A groom on the flight apparently did not have his paperwork in order, and had to go through customs in Indianapolis. Mendelssohn and the Coolmore group were then van to Louisville from Indianapolis. Pat Keating Head traveling lad representing O'Brien reported that the son of Scat Daddy shipped well, as did his stablemates, fellow Dubai World Cup Night alumni 3 and 4 pence, War Decree, and Oville. Everything is fine and they settled in great, Keating said. We couldn't be happier with them. 3 and 4 pence, who was ninth in the UAE Derby in his lone third try on Dubai World Cup night returns to the grass in Saturday's $300,000 American Turf, G2. Group 2 winner War Degree, 9th in the Dubai Turf sponsored by DP World, G1, last out, and Grade 1 winner Deauville, 7th in the same race a year prior, are each aiming toward the $500,000 Old Forester Turf Classic, G1. The Coolmore Quintet's first appearance during morning training at the Louisville Oval will be Thursday morning after an anticipated Wednesday afternoon quarantine clearance. Mendelssohn leading the way on route to Kentucky hashtag Kentucky Derby picked out twitter.com slash 4i42j645. Raya who shifted Barnes from Dubai-based Doug Watson to California-based three-time Dubai World Cup winning trainer Bob Baffert immediately following her aforementioned runner-up effort against males, has made positive impressions since arriving Monday afternoon around 2 p.m. The daughter of Tis Wonderful galloped about 2,000 meters on Tuesday morning during the special 7.30 to 7.45 a.m. training session. Since shifting to her new Santa Anita Park home, the chestnut four-time Maidan runner and two-time Dubai winner has recorded two breezes in preparation for her Kentucky Oaks attempt. The first of those was a sharp 1,200 meters drill from the gate in tandem with 2017 Kentucky Oaks winner and champion Abel Tasman, who returns to racing on Friday, as well, in the lottery and stakes, G1. Raya was joined on her trip by Kentucky Derby favorite Justify, as well as Dubai World Cup sponsored by Emirates Airline, G1, runner-up West Coast. The latter bounced off the ramp and into the barn full of himself and gushing with energy, hinting that his trip to Dubai took little out of him. He is a possible for June Stephen Foster, G1, the same race 2017 Dubai World Cup runner-up gun runner used as his first race back last year before landing Horse of the Year honors. It was an uneventful flight and they all look great, said Jimmy Barnes, top assistant to Baffert. Raya is moving along forwardly. She fell into our training program perfectly and she looks like she's heading in the right direction. We are excited about running her, also. Abel Tasman, is a tough one to work against and that gives you a gauge of where you're at with, Raya, Barnes continued. We've had her a short time, but she came in in great shape which helped us. I think just making that one trip over, from Dubai, and back helped a lot with her. We are excited about it. She looks beautiful. Post 7 is a good post. New to the Pollock Report? 
click here to sign up for our daily email newsletter to keep up on this and other stories happening in the thoroughbred industry.